Well, this uh, announcement was made over at Purdue, and then President Hubdy uh, of P Purdue University came yeah. on television and, and renounced it, said that that would not be the rule at Purdue University, and I applaud his response to that, and uh, I think it's ridiculous. I think that people are tired of having the children decide what goes on in our tax-supported institutions. And I've made the statement myself that in, in the event I'm elected governor, I would require that each person who's appointed to, on the board of trustees would understand they'd be in favor of a regulation to expel any student participating in a riot that damaged property or, in, or harmed an individual. Kim, how's your campaign going so far here? Great. Absolutely fine. We're real pleased with the way the campaign is going. Now, you've probably talked to some of the residents here in Muncie already. What type of questions did they put to you, and what kind of issues did you talk to them about? Oh, a number of people are concerned about riots and law and order and this sort of thing. The last person I talked to wondered how I'd feel about calling out the National Guard in the event of a riot, and I expressed myself, said that I wouldn't hesitate under the right circumstances to call in the Guard. Others are concerned about property tax. This is one of the things I hear the most throughout the state. People want to know what we're going to do about property tax, and we're going to have to get more money to the counties and cities in order that the property tax may be reduced. Now you mentioned one final question. Uh, there has been some rumors that there might be some significant happenings as far as uh, the peace talks in Paris go, and they might lead to a bombing halt in Vietnam. Now, would this affect you in any way, or would this affect the Republican campaign in any way if there was a significant move toward peace in Vietnam? I, I would be tickled to death if this would happen. I, I would be so happy that uh, I would be willing to accept any consequences, but I am certain that the people are so discouraged and, and disturbed at the way our government has been run, the, the riots in the streets and all the problems that spending and the threat of increasing taxes that they want to change. And I, I'm satisfied that I'm going to be elected governor regardless of what happens in Vietnam, and I hope and pray that that war is ended tomorrow.